hello and welcome to our first ever family vacation. <laughs> Still out of practice. We just found our way to our cabin. We're pulling up now. Oh, how cute is it all nestled back here? We just arrived to our lovely cabin and it's nestled back here in between all these lovely trees. So we are gonna walk in. I'm gonna show you around. It is adorable. It's called Holy Ship Lap. Here's Riley and Nora. So when you walk in, there's the kitchen right here with a couple of bar stools. And then over to the right is the living room with a fireplace and it's called holy ship lap because because of all of this and then over here on oh that's great on the left hand side is a little dining nook and a little bench area and then in here is a nice laundry room with some cabinets I love the way it's decorated in here. Walking around, these doors close, they're like barn doors, and then there's this beautiful king-sized bed. I keep saying I love this rug and Riley's laughing at me, but it looks so good in here. There's a little TV over here, and windows going out to the porch. And then the last room is the bathroom. It has this really intricate tile and lots of storage in here. You can hang your clothes up and then all these different drawers. They have some hand towels and things. Really pretty, I love the mirror. And then the shower is a walk-in shower with a couple of different shower heads. There's a bench and then the tile on the floor is nice as well. And then over here is the little potty room. And there are a couple of hooks, three hooks, four hooks on the back of the door. Okay, so outside here, it's very private anyway because of the trees and then they have the curtains which makes it even more private and over here there's a tv and a fireplace and they drain and sanitize their hot tub between every everybody who comes so it's warming up right now for us we didn't turn it on but they must have and there's curtains again all along here which is nice because you can pull them back and just have a view of nature or close them for a little more privacy a grill down here and down around here is a fire pit that belongs to this cabin, which will be really nice. We did bring some s'mores makings. So this is our little cabin that we're staying in. We are in Broken Bow, Oklahoma. We've been here before, but last time we were here was in October, late October of 2018. And I did not vlog the last time we came. We didn't stay in the same cabin but we had so much fun that we wanted to come back and this is our first vacation as a family of three. Are you excited? Yeah? Yeah. Nora can crawl now. Hi, baby girl. We're all, you're going on your first vacation. And I looked over on the bed and everything was propped up, the wine and this card addressed to me and then a box because our five-year wedding anniversary was a couple of days ago and he bought me and waited to give me it until now let me see if i can get it to focus 
this beautiful necklace. It's an opal necklace with little diamonds around it because Nora's birthstone is an opal. Let me see if I can get it. It's gonna be really hard to focus. It's really hard to show, but it's this beautiful opal set in a ring of, there you can see like a halo of little diamonds. How beautiful is that? I love it. What a surprise, I had no idea. So I'm gonna go ahead and put that on. All right, I have it on. Oh my gosh, that is so me, I love. I love little dainty necklaces. What a sweet gift. Five years, Nora. Mommy and Daddy have been married for five years, sorry. Yeah. <laughs> it's so exciting, it really is. And now I have your birthstone around my neck. Okay, I just finished unpacking the three of us and made this Riley's little nightstand and put his clothing and things in there because there's not a proper dresser or a closet. And then I put some of Nora's stuff in there and then I'll show you in the bathroom. Something Riley did because he owns a screen printing store is he made these matching family t-shirts for us. So this one is Nora's, but they're all the exact same. And on the front, it says Broken Bow, Oklahoma, and it says Lamb Family Trip, August 2020. It's a little hard to see because this one's so small. You can see it better there. How cute is that? So this is one for little Nora girl, and then me and Riley both have them too. So we'll have to do a little self-timer picture or something with those. They're so cute. We set up Nora's pack and play. This is the Guava Lotus. Um, I love it. It's super lightweight. It's only 13 pounds. Um, the pack that it comes in can be carried over your shoulder or it can be converted into a backpack. Super, super love it. I'll leave a link below if you're interested. And I also love that this side unzips. So I use it as a playpen for her during the day a lot. And then she can crawl in and out of it or it just works really well for our family. Um, I did bring my yoga mat. I have high hopes of doing at least like one or two yoga things out on the porch. And then in here, they have this big kind of closet. So I have um, a sweatshirt for myself hanging up. This is from my new Etsy line. It says exhale. I thought that was appropriate. And then Riley brought himself a fleece as well. And we have all of Nora's little clothing here and some of her bathing suits and a couple of her bows. Um, and then I, we, I just unpacked a few more things in there. I put some of Riley's toiletries out. My toiletries are in this hanging case. I hung up our bathing suits and then I put some of our toiletries in there too. So we are all unpacked. We're probably gonna go ahead and put these back in the truck because there's not anywhere really to store them in here. And um, as you can see, they're quite large. That's what you get when you're only driving three hours and you have a whole truck to pack. You just pack everything and anything you could ever want. Good morning, it's Tuesday now. Yesterday we had such a nice evening after we unpacked and settled in here, we went and picked up some pizza and then we just relaxed. Riley and I put Nora to bed and went and got in the hot tub for a little while. We watched TV because there's an outdoor TV. It was so nice. And um, I'm wearing my new necklace, I love it. I have a rest day shirt on, which is from my Etsy shop. Um, we are about to load up into the car and we're gonna go drive around some, maybe go pick up coffee from a coffee shop. We did eat breakfast and have coffee here, but you can really never have too much. So we might go do something like that. It is a gorgeous day out. Let's see if I can. It's beautiful. It's like 75 or 77 degrees, which is extremely cool for us. We're used to high 90s in the summer, so it feels like such a reprieve. So anyway, we're enjoying our day. We had a great night's sleep, the bed's super, super comfy, and we've just been enjoying this cabin so much. So we just got Nora dressed and we're gonna head out on a little adventure. Nora, you say good morning? Hi, Boo Boo. She's a little tired. She is, she's about to fall asleep. This little onesie is um, 12 months. You're a big girl. And look at Riley. He looks so good. He recently lost over 20 pounds. Yeah. Looking good, Nucky. Yeah. So we just came and walked through that shop there. And it was really cute. It's 
it's hard to like take the camera out because I have a mask on when I'm inside and it's like really muffled. But and then we just went to that Amy's Macarons place and got a couple. We got creme brulee and cookies and cream and salted caramel. And then we went down there just to check it out. It's like a little mining company thing for kids. We're gonna walk over here across the way. You can't really see it now. I think it's like a petting zoo or something. Yeah. Nora's in a new outfit because she decided she was done with her other outfit. <laughs> yep. <laughs> <laughs> so this is a creme brulee macaron and it is delicious. And Riley's having... Salted caramel. Is it delicious? It's so good. That's like real caramel. Like they made that in there. Mmm, yum. So this is a little petting zoo. Riley is a total animal lover, much more so than I am. Like I love Charlie and I love a few animals, but he loves like all animals and his dream is to have a farm with like a million animals on it. So this is really sweet. Look, Nora. Oh, there's some goats. Oh, it just smells like a farm. <laughs> She's just watching the kids petting. Oh, Nucky. We've been out for the morning and Riley wants to show how this is the cabin we're staying in. How it's down this big hill. And here she is. Whoa. So pretty. I just love this little section over here. I think it's so pretty with the the pillows and the art and everything. We are just getting dinner going. So Riley is dry rubbing some steaks and I marinated some chicken and I cut up some, some sweet potatoes and onions. Um, and I'm gonna roast those in the oven here in a minute. And this was the pizza box. This was, we got pizza yesterday, it was delicious. And we ate it, um, leftovers for lunch today take care of these dishes here in just a minute and Riley put on what is this movie called the heat of the night it's I think it's like an old 80s mystery it's pretty funny um, and then Nora's just sitting here on the floor playing so we are having a great afternoon it's gorgeous outside it is like so mild compared to the weather we've been having ah and tonight it's supposed to get down to be like 60. Let me flip it around so you can see me. Tonight it's supposed to get down to be, I think Riley said 63 or 64 degrees. So we're probably going to make a campfire tonight. We brought things um, to make s'mores, but we weren't sure if we would end up using them because obviously in the really, really, really heat of the summer, when it's like, you know, 100 and something each day and then at night it's like in the high 90s, I don't know if sitting around a campfire sounds all that great, but 65 degrees sounds amazing. So I do think we're going to do that. I wish that these were rocking chairs. I wanted to film this trip mostly for posterity, for my own memories, because it's our first trip as a family of three, just three of us going away somewhere. And um, it's just really like fun to have these little memories of when Nora was nine months old and we went to Oklahoma to a little cabin and all of that, just wanted to remember. Um, but I thought I would share here because I obviously have not been on YouTube for a while. Um, there's not any, you know, huge, massive reason. It's not like some big, huge thing happened. Um, it's been a lot of different things. I needed a break. I think I even said before I stopped filming weekly vlogs, like I'm getting kind of tired of doing this. It's the same thing every week. I'm probably gonna take a break. And then shortly thereafter, my maternal grandmother got really sick and she actually passed away in July. And so um, just grieving and taking time, it was not a surprise that she passed away, but obviously it's still really hard. And so just taking that time and space that I needed, I wasn't feeling overly creative or peppy, <laughs> just feeling sort of you know, melancholy and, and just needing some time alone um, and with my family to kind of deal with that. So anyway, being out here is so restorative and I'm glad that I can film a little bit and share it. And that's all I have to say. But I indict you all. All right, Noy Noor. For being the best friends, this humble prosecutor. Mm. And I'm honored to be here. <laughs> the 
This is like her favorite. Mm -hmm. Favorite. Want some yogurt? I forgot baby spoons and bibs, so we're kind of just flying by the seat of our pants here. Luckily, this color is the same as her shirt. <laughs> so, hopefully, it won't be too big of a deal, huh? She loves having her hands up. Yeah, all the time. This is a channel called Ovation, and it's obviously for older people. And one of their series, the new episodes come on Monday mornings at 8 a.m. <laughs> <laughs> Never heard it. Never heard it. <laughs> that was the funniest thing. Ovation. Nora's down here playing, and Riley has steaks in the oven. We're also going to grill chicken so that we can have some for leftovers tomorrow so we don't have to cook too much. And this is one of our favorite summer sides. Well, really we eat it all year long, but we seem to eat it a lot in the summer specifically. So it's cut up sweet potatoes. I think this is about two and a half sweet potatoes and then an onion thinly sliced. And then I put it in the oven at like 375 or 400 for anywhere between 40 minutes and an hour. If you don't like onions, don't add the onions because it definitely adds an onion flavor, but we love onions. And they roast up and it's just delicious. Just little sweet potatoes and onions. <laughs> <laughs> there she is, our little crawling girl. We've got Grill Master Riley. We're gonna grill steak and chicken and fajita veg. Well, not fajita veggies these grilling veggies. They're already on skewers. Here's our delicious part of our dinner. We also have some steak that we're gonna, I'm only gonna have a little bit of. I think Riley's planning on eating a little bit more of the steak. <laughs> and those potatoes are almost finished roasting. This is actually cantaloupe. All right, we finished up an amazing dinner. It was so, so yummy. There's Riley and Nora down there. And I just made a little tray with everything we need for s'mores. All right, we have the fire getting ready to go. Some family nearby is playing some game. It's really cute. They're just giggling and laughing. They have a lighter, but it is empty. So, Riley, Riley, were you a boy scout? I was a girl scout, but I was like the world's worst girl scout. Hey, do you see all those little rocks you can touch? What do you think? What do you think? Look, it feels rough. Rock? Her hair's all wild because she just fell asleep on me. Rock? Look. Hear that sound? I love the sound of shoes walking on gravel. What do you think? Yeah. We're outside. That's something neat to hold. Yeah. Does that feel rough in your hand? Rock? That's a rock. You like your rock? Yeah. Mr. Boy Scout here got it going. You like it? Beautiful blue-eyed girl. All right, here we go. <laughs> Why don't we just go up and use the fire up there? It's automatic. Because you can get marshmallow drippings in that. Yeah, you can. Why don't you tell everybody what you did and what happened? All right, so um, I did this fire, as you can see. It's great, as you can see. It just wasn't working out because the fire's, the wood's too fresh. The kindling, I couldn't get the kindling hot enough for long oh. enough to, to stay and to like ignite. So I'm like, well, this fire is like dunzo. We have two fireplaces up top. Let's go use one of the gas fires. I remember it was like, I hate your level of confidence right now. And losers only say that. And I was like, babe, the amount of, of heat we need to sustain to get this fresh, fresh wood to like stay caught um, is just too much. It's just too much work. We should like stop and just go upstairs and use the fire. And she was so upset. And she was like, you have zero confidence. 
and then I tried to use an analogy about a broken car. She wasn't having it. Um, you know, now were... she's going around and she's lit, lit the fire. And um, it's just kindling every couple seconds, and then the fire spurts up, and then it goes away. And um, Nora's having a great time. I don't know how you think fires get lit. Also, you said <laughs> Nora's so bored, <laughs> she can't handle it. You said that it was like a car that wouldn't start, but we're talking about wood. I was talking. <laughs> <We've been burning laughs> I wasn't. Since the beginning of time. <laughs> and once again, Nora is the victim of all of this. Just so bored out of her mind. She's gonna hate camping and fires forever now. <laughs> All right, that's what's going on here. <laughs> I could film this all night, though. Let me know who was a junior in Girl Scouts and just and a brownie and decided not to go on. <laughs> could you not pass the fire test or like the knowing when to quit test? <laughs> I will never quit. <laughs> Thank you for making me a s'more first. I know it was kind of a spite <laughs> s'more. It was a spite s'more because you thought so many more were coming after that. And you're like, look what I did. And now you're having this hard time. So thank you for that some more. Tastes even better when you don't deserve it. <laughs> Let me know, everyone. <laughs> Enjoy your 30 seconds of fire. You better toast that marshmallow. I am. Look how good it looks. As long as we get a good YouTube cover picture. Yeah, you guys will know the truth behind this cover photo. So this is a bit more toasty than I usually like it, but I'm so proud of myself for toasting a marshmallow over a real fire <laughs> that I genuinely do not mind. Plus you can't make another one, so you're gonna have to eat that. <laughs> In case you're wondering, this was worth all that work. In case you're wondering. I wasn't wondering. So we made two s'mores. We made four s'mores. We made two s'mores. Well, you don't lie to the camera. <laughs> but we made they, two s'mores, they, it took three hours. They each, they each had two marshmallows, so <laughs> okay. it's like four. Right. Now show the fire. This is right after you <laughs> smoked that last marshmallow. Here's Blair um, grilling a marshmallow. Yeah. yeah. Good morning, everyone. It's Wednesday morning, and as you can probably tell, we woke up to a big thunderstorm and rain. It is so soothing. Um, I did not know it was, neither of us knew it was going to rain today, but um, we welcome it because it's just so relaxing. Let me give you a little shot so you can see. You can see it, it's so nice. I love rain. Can you hear it just hitting all the different leaves on all the trees? Oh, I just love it. Good morning, Nora. She's playing with some of her toys down here. Riley's heating up leftovers. And you're gonna fry up some eggs, right? Crack an egg on top of that. Yum, steak and eggs. And I am having some strawberry oatmeal and some coffee. All right, we've got the hot tub on. And we are watching Catfish the TV show <laughs> and we have Nora save Norny. we all just got out of our PJs I just got in my bathing suit Nora's still in half her PJs because it's been a rainy day and we have little Einstein on and some toys and we'll see if we can spend maybe 15 minutes in the hot tub while she hangs out in here might be a little bit of you know wishful thinking but we'll see what do you think? So nice. I haven't been in a hot tub in well since the last time we were in Broken Bow. We had a hot tub. That's so. true. This is great. That's true because we didn't get any when we on any when we were on the Disney cruise last May because I was pregnant. Right. Did you? I oh, don't. Yeah, I, I, did. didn't. I did. I did. So, still good memories. It feels great. And Nora's favorite. And our sweet girl. It's just hanging out. 
Well, we lasted about, what do you say, 20 minutes? Maybe. Maybe 20 minutes. Mommy and Daddy got to be in the hot tub and Nor Nor played in her little pack and play, so it worked out really well. I was about ready to get out anyway. I can never last that long in a hot tub. They start making me feel overheated. I'm over it. Which I know is the point, but I feel like I'm just sensitive to the heat, so I enjoy it for like 15 or 20 minutes and then I'm done. I changed out of my PJs to put on a swimsuit to get in the hot tub, and Nuggy is still in her PJs, so we're both going from PJs to fresh PJs. So we're gonna go inside and put on some fresh PJs for the evening. Riley marinated some chicken and veggies to, we're gonna do burrito bowls tonight. I think I brought wraps too in case we want to do fajitas. It's been a very relaxing day. We didn't go anywhere today because of the rain. All right, I just finished dinner. We have rice, we're having fajita bowls or burrito bowls or whatever you want to call them. And then um, some avocado and tomatoes, some cut up limes, some cheese, some of these tortilla chips. This brand is really good, late July. Um, Riley did the chicken and fajita veggies, and then we have some salsa and some sour cream. And then I have these um, wraps if we want to use them, but I think both of us are probably just going to go ahead and have a bowl. So that's what's for dinner. This is like our go-to. We have this probably at least once a week. It makes really great leftovers, and it's just so fast. So that's what we're having. Good morning, it's Thursday and I had a quiet moment so I thought I would come out here and say good morning. I'm very much in like cabin mode, <laughs> like no makeup. I went to bed with my hair wet after the shower last night and it's just like a mess, but it's really nice to not have to um, get up and get ready, like just put on comfy clothes and call it a day. We're gonna go out here in a little while and get some coffee I think and go to one of the local state parks and um, go and sit and enjoy some outdoor time. I think it might rain this afternoon. It was raining, I think this morning. Um, so anyway, look at this beautiful morning we just woke up to. So we just went to this cute coffee shop called Okie Girls and they're doing where you order here and then pick up here so you're not going inside. And um, I got an almond milk latte and Riley got cold brew with a splash of almond milk in it. So we've heard really good things about this coffee shop so we're excited to try them. And we're gonna head to the state park, right? Yeah. We are in Beaver's Bend State Park. And we found a little picnic table. Didn't we? Yeah. To sit at and drink our coffee. And it is the most gorgeous day. It's like 80 degrees and breezy. It's not hot at all. Look at the water sparkling. Mm. It's just so nice to be outside and enjoying the weather. Some people out on their boats and jet skis and things. Look at this. It is the most gorgeous day I could ever tell you about. It is like not hot, it's breezy and warm. It's not humid. Oh my gosh. Oh, we're just gonna soak it in. Hello, we are packing up now to go home. Put you up here. These are like my favorite pajamas ever. These are Nora's Burt's Bees. I wanna get her some fall and Christmas Burt's Bees because pajamas because I love that they're two pieces. They have the bottom and the top because the zippered ones now, although adorable with her crawling, she pulls her legs into the main cavity of the zipper and so she's like constricted and stuck and she can't really crawl. So this is a lot easier for her, these little two piece sets. It's been a great day. We've had such a fun trip. It's amazing how just three or four days away just is so refreshing. Um, and we're going to go ahead and pack up the truck and head out 
in the next few minutes. All right, it's time for us to say goodbye to our cabin. I especially love this room. I thought this rug and the bed and everything was so beautiful and the ceilings go all the way up. But we're saying goodbye to our little cabin. This is from the Blue Beaver Rental Company and this particular cabin is called Holy Ship Lap. So if you're interested, this is what it is. Make sure the door is locked. Such a nice stay that we had here. It was just the best. All right, we're all loaded up. About to head out and go home after such a wonderful little vacation. Goodbye. Hey guys, we're back from our trip now and I am currently working on getting this vlog online. It has been a bit of a headache. There's been lots of technology drama, but I think I think we're figuring it out. If you're seeing this, then I definitely figured it out, so that's awesome. Um, I wanted to pop on here at the end and let you know that my fall Etsy line launched today and so all of my fall designs are available, including some new ones. And this is like my favorite line of the year maybe tied with christmas so fun and if you order now then you'll get your stuff before september and that way you can or by the beginning of september that way you can have it for all of september um so to celebrate the launch everything is 20 percent off plus free shipping if you spend 50 dollars or more so pretty awesome. Anyway, I'll leave a link below to my Etsy shop. It's just blairlambdesign.com. I would love if you headed over there and just checked it out or followed along on Instagram. And if you see anything that speaks to you, you can go ahead and order it and I will package it with love and mail it to you as soon as possible. But anyway, just wanted to let you know that and thanks so much for watching. Bye.